Hey everyone, it's Maria here. Welcome back to another video. Um, for those of you who know me, you know that I'm a makeup artist who is very passionate about skincare. And I like to give you guidance in both skincare and makeup based on my experience, um, previous positions in the beauty industry and everything I've kind of learned and also what works for so me. So today I wanna to give you some tips on taking care of your skin in winter. I am located in Toronto, Canada. And this would be, I guess, best for anyone who lives in a similar climate, right? And has those cold winters. Uh, it's December right now. We haven't hit the minus temperatures, but I know those are coming. And even in the fall, when the temperatures start dropping, you will, uh, you know, feel the difference on your skin. So if you're interested in learning about what you can do to best support your skin during cold weather, then keep watching. Okay, so I'm going to give you 10 tips um, for kind of like your overall care. I'm not going to include hair. Um, I've done another video. I can link it below uh, on how I take care of my my thick curly hair. All right, that's pulled up today. But I wanted to start out um, with the number one thing that I think is very beneficial for you is to have a humidifier in your room. Now, uh, with the holidays coming up, I've picked up this one here that I'm going to get my husband to give to us so we can have it in our bedroom because our kids have taken the other one. And, uh, you know, but what I also love is having something small like this. All right. That you can use on your face. Now, I have talked about in the past uh, steaming and how much better your skincare products will perform um, when, once you've steamed the skin. OK, I have another video on how to do a mini facial at home. I did that one during the lockdowns because no one was getting anything done. Um, but this little guy here, this is from um, Vanity Planet and it's my own little personal steamer. But if you have something like this. Turn it on. It makes things so much easier. Okay, just give it a, give it a couple minutes. So it has a little reservoir here, and it's amazing um, how quickly it steams up and how much steam comes out. So now you can steam your face before you're gonna do a mask. So although I love this for like a little quick kind of steaming of the face, I would recommend getting something bigger and having it in the room where you sleep, right? Having it on and just having the steam kind of while you sleep. Um, if you work from home, the heating can definitely take a toll on your skin. The indoor heating, you know, we don't, I don't live in the Bahamas. I wish I did. So this conversation is for people who live in those dry, cold climates. So anytime you're going to, you know, apply skincare, um, you're going to do a mask. I highly recommend steam for your face, okay? And then having the humidifier going in your room while you sleep and in the room uh, where you work all day. If you work from home, you can easily do that. If you have a private office, lucky you, you can also have a humidifier in there. Number two would be to use a rich cleanser. We have all heard the transition that should take place from a gel cleanser or something, you know, lighter. I don't know, gel, I guess, would be foam can be nice and light, but I know a lot of the brands now make the foam cleansers a lot more gentle by using coconut surfactant, so they're not going to strip your skin. So you need to use something rich, either a milk or clean, uh, sorry, cream cleanser that's richer, but I would highly recommend an oil cleanser. This one here is from Helena Lane, which is um, an organic brand out of the West Coast, um, Vancouver. And you need such a small amount of this, a little goes a long way. The minute you touch it on your skin, it's going to liquefy and it's going to turn into an oil. And you can apply this even as a face mask. Leave it on, you know, go binge on Netflix, um, do some work on the computer, let this sit on your skin and then remove it with a warm, wet face cloth. Now, for those of you who are going to be using this to remove makeup, it does remove makeup beautifully. It will take everything off, but you need to kind of physically remove it um, with a face cloth. It's not going to just, it's not going to rinse clean. Okay. So with the oil cleanser, I highly recommend something like this. And you know, it's such a beautiful product. It smells so amazing. I'm just going to leave it on top of my hands. All right. Why waste it? 
Number three would be to have a hydrating serum. Now, a lot of serums nowadays are made with hyaluronic acid. Um, they have other ingredients in there that boost hydration. Um, so I would say if you need something that, uh, I mean, you do need something, that's number three, you need something for hydration, choose something that is gonna give you another benefit. So for example, these serums here from Consonant, um, one is the vitamin C serum, and the other one is the, uh, the vitamin B3, and zinc. If you are red in the winter, if you find that your skin is irritated, uh, I highly recommend something like this. So this is like niacinamide. That's what B3 is. Um, and this serum here, not only will it add hydration to your skin, it will also uh, calm and cool down the redness that you may have. If you need something that's more brightening, then uh, I highly recommend a vitamin C serum. Get something that targets one of your concerns as well as adding hydration to the skin. So these hydrating serums are super light, right? They're not, they're not oil-based. So something like this, it will be either clear or, you know, perhaps this one is a little bit golden. Okay, these ones are unscented. So it's something that's gonna quickly absorb into the skin and give you a nice boost of hydration, okay? Everybody needs it, um, especially in the winter if you live in a cold area, okay? Number four would be a face mist. I cannot stress the importance and ease of use of the face mists. If you follow my channel for a while, you have seen me talk about face mists. They are fantastic, kind of like your humidifier that can sit there and throughout the day give you hydration. Uh, bottles, little bottles like this of mist should be sitting on your desk when you're working. You can mist yourself um, under makeup. You can mist on top of makeup. Um, they are fantastic multitaskers. And I even like to use my mist in the morning to give a quick cleanse to my skin. I do my oil cleansing at night. So in the morning, I don't wash my face again. Okay. If I could go back to the cleansing part, I would say also cut back the cleansing. All right. But I'm going to strictly focus on the products for now so definitely cut back on the cleansing with that rich cleanser and then just mist your skin um generously especially if you're feeling dry throughout the day okay so number five would be an eye cream get yourself a good eye cream i love uh, my skincare that has essential oils but sometimes the eye area can be sensitive and you might not want to use your moisturizer that you're using all over um, around the eye area all right definitely do a little test with that first um but you know an eye cream is specifically created for that area it's going to be richer hydrating and you know, get something that's unscented. A lot of the eye creams aren't scented, but just double check that. Um, this one here is the Firming Eye Cream by Consonant. Um, a little goes a long way. All right, and I would always apply your eye cream with your ring finger, all right? And a little bit goes a long way and you will just kind of tap it into the skin, okay? Never pull the eye area, tap it. And if you need a little bit more, go back and get more and don't forget to bring it up above, okay? Um, if you are in your 40s, like me, you might have noticed already that, um, you know, if you have a big eye open area here that you have maybe some gravity taking over up here. So definitely bring your eye cream all around um, on the ocular cavity here, all right? Number six would be a moisturizer. Get yourself a really, really nice rich, dense, occlusive moisturizer. This one here is from Iremia. It's another Toronto brand. This is their protective cream. And I absolutely love this. The essential oils are so light, but it's really, really nice and thick, like almost yogurt-like. And I'm wearing it also underneath this tinted, little bit of tinted uh, moisturizer that I did, but it is it is wonderful. I love how fast it absorbs and you could definitely apply a thicker layer and leave it on as a mask. It absorbs really nicely and I think our skin needs that protective barrier. If you apply your serums and your mist and all your lighter kind of hydrating plumping, 
products, you need something a little bit more occlusive, something richer. Just apply it all over your face, let it absorb, um, you know, and you will definitely feel the difference when you step outside. If you do this at night, you're going to feel the difference when you wake up in the morning. But I definitely think that you need to have a nice protective layer um, on your skin before you step outside in minus temperatures. SPF. Okay, so this is number seven. Um, it's a very gray overcast day today, but you know that the sun uh, here in North America can actually be quite strong in the winter. So for any of you who love going to the park, you take your dog for walks, um, you are a skier, um, especially with that reflection of the snow, you like doing other snow sports and you're gonna be out there for more than 15 minutes. Um, you need an SPF. So these ones here by La Spa, which is another Toronto brand, they're also tinted. They offer an SPF 20, um, you know, which I think is great for the winter. And I also like how they come in. I believe it's five different shades and they blend in. They are nice and rich, but I would not cut out my moisturizer, okay? Let that moisturizer absorb onto your skin and then go in and apply your SPF product on top on the days that you need it. If you know you're going to be inside the house all day, you're working from home um, and you're not going to be outside for more than 15 minutes, you can probably skip the SPF for that day. Number eight, let's move on to the hands. Everyone needs a nice hand cream. These ones here by Pure Nada are very affordable. They're $10 and they are so beautifully rich. They are shea butter based. But what I like about them is that you put it on and then they actually absorb so quickly um, that you can actually just, you know, use it, give it a couple minutes and then you can go back to work. This one here is the unscented, but I carry um, a lot of the other more essential oil, beautiful scents in the store and they make a lovely gift. I mean, stocking stuffer who doesn't need uh, something like this, definitely. Um, hand cream is one of those products that you're going to be replenishing throughout the winter. Okay, lip care. You know, even lipstick can be protective if you have a lipstick that has really nice ingredients, okay? So make sure that the base has those nourishing plant oils. Um, other, after that, you need a really, really thick lip balm. This one here is the Hydra Extreme Advanced Lip Serum, and it's by Consonant. And this one here is... Oh, my goodness. Okay, so my hands are slippery. Now I can't open it. All right, so this one here is nice and rich. And you can apply it as a mask. Okay, you can apply it as a mask at night or you can just apply it before stepping outside in really cold temperatures. Now, if your lips get chapped, and I mean, most people's do in the winter, don't go crazy on there and, uh, you know, use something really harsh, um, an exfoliant that is a physical exfoliant. I, I used to even brush the skin off my lips with a toothbrush and if your lips are already feeling sore and they're chapped and irritated that does definitely does not work what i have found uh works really well is um i use a glycolic serum at night and this is a chemical exfoliant this one here is by la spa and what i do is i just take a bit of the product after i'm done my face and i apply it over my lips all right and what that does is that it helps with the the dry dead skin so you can wake up the next morning um i know when i do it my lips feel so smooth and the, even the lines on the lips are reduced uh, make sure you leave it to dry when you're awake so you don't eat it um but yeah i would do that at night and then in the morning put on a really nice protective lip balm like the one i just showed you by consonant Okay, and the last product would be a body cream. You need to moisturize your body. Do it right after you come out of the shower. Don't go crazy with the towel. Just, you know, very, very lightly. It, um, a lotion would go much farther if you're hydrating the skin right after the shower when it's still a little bit damp. It's going to absorb the product much better. Um, Cocoon Apothecary has this lovely... 
uh, you know, body lotions. This is the Tachi Fili. It has the lavender and rosemary essential oils, which I really love. Really nice and um, relaxing. But I also love that they're olive oil based. A lot of moisturizers out there, especially the ones for, for the body, might not be rich enough. Um, and pay attention to what ingredients are at the top of the list. So this one, although it does have water first, the second ingredient is olive oil, which is so nice to see because it's really nice and moisturizing for the winter hey everyone so those were my 10 tips of how to take care of your skin in the winter with 10 tips um, probably a lot of these products you already have at home so make sure you're using them and if you like what you see today please subscribe to my channel and give it thumbs up to help it rise to the top you can also turn on the little notification bell so you can get notified next time i post another video all right thanks for watching everyone bye